ఓకే ఫ్రెండ్స్ దిస్ సెషన్ ఈస్ ఆల్ అబౌట్ హౌ టు అటెండ్ ద ఇంటర్వ్యూ క్వశ్చన్స్ విత్ కంట్రోల్ స్టేట్మెంట్స్ వాట్ యూ మీన్ బై కంట్రోల్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఇట్స్ వెరీ సింపుల్ ఇఫ్ స్విచ్ కేస్ ఆల్ దీస్ క్యాన్ బి రికార్డెడ్ యాజ్ కంట్రోల్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఇఫ్ దిస్ హెస్ హ్యాపండ్ యూ నీడ్ టు మూవ్ ఇయర్ ఇఫ్ దట్ హెస్ హ్యాపండ్ యూ నీడ్ టు కమ్ ఇయర్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ సార్ట్ ఆఫ్ కంట్రోలింగ్ ద కరెంట్ ఫ్లో సో వీ కెన్ కాల్ ఇట్ అ కంట్రోల్ స్టేట్మెంట్ యాజ్ సింపుల్ యాజ్ దట్ సో ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు టాక్ అబౌట్ సే అబౌట్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ క్వశ్చన్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ అండ్ వెరీ ఫండమెంటల్ యూ విల్ డెఫినెట్లీ లవ్ ఇట్ లెట్స్ గో వన్ బై వన్ వాట్ ఇస్ ద అవుట్పుట్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ కోడ్ వాట్ డూ ఐ డూ హియర్ ఐ చెక్ ఇఫ్ ఇన్ ఐ చెక్ ఐ సెట్ ఇన్ టీఏ ఈక్వల్ టు నైన్ ఐ చెక్ ఇఫ్ ఏ గ్రేటర్ దెన్ నైన్ ఈజ్ నైన్ గ్రేటర్ దెన్ నైన్ నో ఇట్స్ రాంగ్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఆన్సర్ ఆన్సర్ హ్యాస్ టు బి బి ఇట్ ప్రిన్స్ నథింగ్ సిన్స్ ద కండిషన్ ఈస్ నాట్ మెట్ ఆల్సో యూ కెన్ సీ దట్ హియర్ ఐ డు నాట్ హ్యావ్ అ i do not have a um, this thing a bracket here curly brace here and here it's not required if it is just the only line which is available after the if so it requires only one line uh, in that case you can ignore the curly brace so please understand that second uh, the same question i have removed the brackets here i mean the parenthesis here will that work no it's mandatory that we need have the parenthesis definitely here for the e flu without which it won't work this is a very important question see that guys uh, i have int a equal to 5 i uh, do a check here with an if a equal to 1 please note that here i do not have double equal to 1 i have only one equal to 1 which means that i am assigning a with 1 can assignment be done inside the leaf loop that's the question so what can be the answer if loop can have assignment multiplication division any expression any operation can be there it's absolutely legal and no issue so what will happen this will work fine and it will have a assigned with one and that one will be printing inside this so what will be the output the statement will get printed the statement will get executed and value of a will be printed as one that's it so d should be the answer you can see that it gets always printed next question uh, a equal to 9 if a greater than 10 i have a curly brace open and close and i have another curly brace here another curly brace here is this right do i have a, a value for this particular curly brace that i am including will it cause any trouble no this will not cause any trouble this is absolutely fine it is executed unconditionally so you'll have no problem and a is 9 is the output and here please see this i have a equal to 9 if of 1 what do you mean by if of 1 if of 1 is always true which means that this line will be executed always if of 1 is nothing but the line is always true the condition is always met so the output will be a a is 9 will be printed if of 0 is always false so please remember if i use if 0 that means it is false if i use if of 1 that means it's always true if of minus 10 well this is an interesting question how does it work simple any non zero value will be indicated or will be uh, conveyed as a positive true state for example if it is minus 10 if of minus 10 that will also be taken as positive value and it will be executed so the loop will get in normally and it will go here so this line will be run so a is 9 is the output now if a equal to 8 what did i tell you i told you earlier that we can do assignment inside it so i will be printed easily here now see this this is a very important question if a equal to equal to 9 and and which is logical ending and a not equal to 5 um print of a is this right no this is not right all these should be in one bracket which is missed out here the conditions must be specified in a single parenthesis which is missing here now if a equal to 9 just if of print of a is this right no this requires a condition for sure it has to be a if of 0 if of 1 if of something should be there otherwise it is wrong if of high this is very interesting right so if of high what will be the output simple it is as good as if of one it's also treated positive and that will work fine there is no problem whatsoever related to it so please understand it is right now if of double quotes is it right yes this is also considered even as positive so a will be printed and the value will be nine if of slash zero is it considered as positive one yes all these are very important which we guys would not have tried at all or we might not be aware of so please understand that it is also true state so the output will be 9 even here now int b equal to size of 
if a less than 5 is it right will it work certainly not right it will give an error this is not the way if can be included into size of it cannot be passed as an argument to an operator like size of so it is wrong now if a equal to 9 print of in the bracket percentage d comma a and you are closing the bracket is it right yes this is right this will work fine this is called one line if statement with a following statement this is absolutely fine this is called one line if so output will be a if not of a less than 9 um, print of a so what can be the output simple not cannot be the part of not is now part of the condition actually whatever we think is this now this not is part of the condition but it is outside the bracket you can see that here it is outside the bracket parenthesis hence this will be an error so it won't work it has to be within the bracket like this then it is fine now switch case so if you understand right anything other than if of zero is all treated as positive almost so please guys remember this is a very important question now it switch case if a equal to 3 int a equal to 3 switch a case 1 some none case 2 through uh, sorry case 1 is 1 case 2 is 2 a default print of a so what can be the output it will come here it will search for this 3 first 3 is available here no it won't be matched 2 is uh, 3 is available here no it won't be matched here so what will be the output the output has to be default then what is printed 3 will be printed simple now x is equal to 1 y is equal to 2 switch x r y this is bitwise r please remember this this is bitwise r now logical r is different from bitwise r i have already taught you this in the previous sessions now 1 bitwise r 2 it will be true anyways so it will come inside now this is wrong this this does not have a break this does not have a break this does not have a break statement this also does not have a break statement so what will happen the execution will fall here and it will be default x is equal to 10 which means this is called fall through condition guys please remember this is called fall through condition please do not forget now char a equal to z and i am trying to compare it with a b c uh, a b z through the case statement what will be the output this is uppercase letter this is lowercase letter case is all switch case is all case sensitive hence this won't work so the output would be simple it is d what is d here none of the above simple now see this here float oh sorry uh, sorry this is a mistake i cannot remove it also in the recording so please forgive it float a equal to 1.5 i am trying to compare it with the case statements what is the output switch case can only permit integer and character no float will work there so guys you will have to forget it so if there is a question that has float values dealt in the switch case the question is intentionally given as wrong one so please don't fall as a prey now um, int a equal to 2 switch a case 2 case 3 what do i do here in case 2 i assign int x is equal to 1 so what will be the output in the case i cannot do assignment so this is wrong this cannot be done here so answer is c declaration cannot be done inside the case statement so this is what I told you. Please remember, we cannot do any sort of declaration inside the case. Now, what is the output here? Switch of A, print of case 1, int x is equal to 1, break. Case 3, print of x, x is equal to 2. So what do we do here? We have A equal to 2. I'll have to try matching this. And this is very, very simple question, straightforward question. So what will happen? I'll just come here. This is true. So this will be printed. Simple, nothing. Case 1 will be printed. And nothing else will happen and see here can the case statement have expression like this yes it is absolutely legal so 2 into 3 plus 1 will be multiplied and added 6 plus 1 7 will be coming and that's all fine it will work fine so output is 7 7 will be printed yeah this question is very important please see that i have just switch off i i do not have a case here either and i do not have any bracket anything here will it work what is the output simple this is the only case where i will not get any error as well as no output will come please understand it is no harmful here switch is no harmful here but it will not let you get the output that you want so without a curtly brace open and a close if i have a switch that will be useless 
the next one will be go to uh, we will quickly have uh, five ten questions in that and then we can go to the next session uh, go to is not that important actually with respect to interview or even people don't use it so much in the coding so i'll quickly go through it in the next session i hope you guys are enjoying the sessions thank you